But I think Man City look a bit more vulnerable. But I think they often do in the, the early stages of the season. You know, we all know that they are a, a business end of the season team. They're, they're a team that thrives after January. I, I think back to them title races they had with Liverpool, where they both just won every game until the end of the season. You know, Man City are that team. So them dropping points this early in a campaign it isn't necessarily a surprise. And I don't think they'll be panicking in the Man City, you know, training ground about these results. I think they'd disappointed to lose two back to back. You know, I think they've lost three or four overall, three straight in domestic competitions. That will hurt them, but I think it it will probably help them overall because I think if they'd came out of these games with maybe some draws, it might have papered over the cracks. Look, losing Rodri is desperately, you know, it's terrible for them because you can see how important he is to that team. You know, we're talking about the Mateo Kovacic um, tackle yesterday where he should have been sent off. I mean, does Mateo Kovacic start the game if, if Rodri's fit? He, he might have, but he might not have. But I think Rodri being in there would have really helped Man City yesterday and would have added that little bit of calm to their team and maybe even helped them go on and get the winner. So I think he's been a huge miss for them. I mean, I've seen plenty of people saying that He's potentially, at the minute, one of the best, if not the best player in the world, you know, with his, his current form. I don't know if I'd necessarily go that far, but he's integral to this Manchester City team, as integral as Erlen Haaland is at the other end of the pitch. And he's, he's such a big miss for them. In terms of who's actually in the title race, I would say that, you know, if, if Tottenham at this point, I think they can probably count themselves in there for the moment. I think they've got some things going for them in the sense that they don't have European football to worry about. Um, I think that will help them having them breaks that they're not used to. I think as well, the way that they play football, I enjoy watching them. I think they're a good attack inside. I do think there's clear holes in the team. They obviously need a, a proper number nine, whether or not they can get to January though, and, and, and find somebody, you know, to come in and fill that gap. I imagine they've got a little bit of money burning a hole in that pocket as well from the Harry Kane transfer. I don't think Tottenham will, you know, win the league come the end of the season, but I certainly think they're, they're in the, the battle to finish sort of in the top three at the minute. I've not been impressed with Liverpool. I thought they were really, really poor um, yesterday. I, I didn't think they did particularly well. I thought when they got ahead in the game, they didn't really kill it off. I think Brighton were unlucky not to win that one. So then you, you ultimately come to Arsenal and Man City. And I think they are clearly the two best teams in the league at the minute. Um, but I do worry about Arsenal just seem to have more dodgy results in them than Man City. And I think Arsenal as well, they, they kind of have that little bit of an air of they can bottle big games. You know, we saw that when they missed out on top four a couple of seasons ago at Tottenham because they bottled some end of season results. Last year, they went through that run where they kept drawing games. You know, they were winning games one and two nil and ended up drawing two two. I think my worry for them is I don't know if they've got enough to avoid their mistakes again. I mean, we even saw them drop points against Fulham earlier this season. You know, title winners can't do that at home. So overall, Man City are still the favourites for me. I think it, it would shock me if we're here in May and we're talking about anybody else winning the Premier League other than Man City, even after yesterday's result. 